Good afternoon. Today I'll be discussing the brief The Meaningful Life of a Trolley. How do people survive daily, earn a living, and what do they do for fun? People survive off healthy foods and water in which things change have due to technology. In this I mean in how people have changed from shopping online from buying their shopping in normal grocery stores to shopping online and using websites. People rely on safety and a safe environment in order to survive. Another number one factor is people rely on oxygen and it's for free. A healthy body and mind is very important as people do not take care of their mental health or have extreme mental health issues. In some instances, people take their lives due to experiencing health, mental health issues. Thus, it's very important to take care of their mental health. People earn income through generating income through their jobs. Some people receive an income at home or online as some making a living at home is better instead of an office. People experience fun through going to the parks, exercise and seeing friends and family and meeting up with different kinds of people. Some people like to go to parties and movies. Sometimes people just like being at home or even going outside. How do designers impact on the daily activities of people? Keeps engagement in people helps us keep connected direct and navigate through things, create communication, encourage and empower. Designers create a circle of influence. The influence, in the influence of work can be a call for greater work. Designers create a circle of influence, I mean by this, in some situations, uh, the one person, a designer, can create a magnificent design, thus influencing and inspiring other young influencers or designers and so forth. Thus by this influence and having this idea, this young influence or design takes us and creates another big design. Thus the cycle continues. Role of the trolley that plays in everybody's life. The trolley can have many different roles in many people's lives. The realistic role of first year being a transport for goods for stores. The convenience of not having to carry groceries and other objects comes in handy. This trolley is well seen as safety for design for children as most trolleys provide seats. The shopping cart can bring profitability to oneself as it has the power to make one add more goods into a shopping cart. This by meaning that the shopping cart creates an illusion of people wanting to put, add more stuff to their carts as they think they need more. In reality, their cart is just big. At a more deeper level, the shopping cart can be seen as a carrier for life. It can subsidize people's needs in order to survive daily, but as well be a safety net for children while their parents push this, this trolley, in other words, invention. Why does the trolley look the way it is? The inventor of the trolley, Sylvan Goldman's intention was for people not to carry the shopping basket. In this way, these people were women, as men did not do the shopping at this time, as society says. Thus creating a big basket on our wheels. The inspiration came from Goldman's wooden chair in his office. The trolley was designed with a bottom tray so bigger objects could be added. Shopping carts such as the IDEO shopping carts and relatively modern shopping carts are based on safety, movability and capability. The shopping cart involves wheels that steer along movements in order to make it easier for people to get to places. The cart includes a chair for children as parents have all in one cart have all in one carts and can multifunction. Are there any trolleys made for people who are differently abled? And the answer is yes. A mother with a disabled child had designed a trolley for a person with, speci- with per- special needs. And she thought this was a brilliant idea as if how my ch- child could have one, so can everyone else. She had the idea as her daughter could not fit in the child's chair anymore. The des- this design had been implemented in the US. So her chair is situated on the left of the images I'm showing here. And I find it very adorable as we see an older citizen um, is sitting on this chair and basically you can push it. It's a very clever thing and I feel like it looks very comfortable and 
it has to be comfortable in some situations of people having disabilities and especially older people as they are not strong as what they used to be. Secondly, in the States, the franchise store Walmart had come up with the idea of self-driven shopping carts. The customer could access the cart through a store app on their phones. Thus, so this cart is situated, the picture is situated on the left, right. Thus, here we have these two elderly people. So basically, this cart has this app in which you come to the store and you say you want this cart and it magically comes to you. This is helpful in a way such as an elderly person can't go to a cart and start to push it on themselves and try and start it as some people um, don't understand and so forth. This goes to dis disabled people as well. Ways in which the trolley can be used differently. The trolley can be used in many different ways. This, that shows that ver that's shows the versatility of this design the trolley can be used at at home and a use of transport positions for homeless people in some situations some people are not privileged and they are homeless and they can create magnificent homes of these shopping carts usually it's unfortunately stolen or it's just left at the side or they usually find these shopping carts be, like behind that like garbage places and so forth and they use this and they use this for their homes and sometimes even transform it in which they sell plastics and so and i remember when i was working in my gap year and there was this lady that basically sold her all her goods with the use of her shopping trolley that in which she carried the trolley can be used some people make a living out of the, using a shopping cart to hold sold goods, like I just said. And in some situations now, people, a lot of homeless, homeless people are collecting plastics and, and gathering those plastics in these trolleys, thus taking it to get it recycled and thus getting income. The trolley is as well used for fun, usually taken upon a hill and using this trolley as a fun ride. Very sound, very ridiculousness, a show from NTV, but some people use shopping carts to have fun, to go on um, rides on them, take them to the streets, like sometimes they do in South Africa, and push one another. It's usually what kids do when, you know, they, they have nothing to do at home, maybe, or, you know, parents don't give them maybe toys. To end of this presentation, I have linked a have ended off one to the end off in a good note so i have left a link to a video of a complication of trolley fun fails <laughs> so basically people riding these trolleys for fun and having fails but anyway i wanted to end off the presentation a good note so i added that right there but thank you for listening and watching my presentation have a great day ahead. Here's my list of references as well. Thank you.